Samurai 8 is on the verge of release and since we have four days before we get the first official chapter of Samurai 8, I thought I might do a video talking about everything that you need to know before you actually watch the series. So it is written by Kishimoto. This is another series by Kishimoto and it is illustrated by Akura Okubo who is or used to be one of Kishimoto's assistants. So Kishimoto will be doing the, the paneling and obviously Akira Okubo will be the one who will be finishing the drawings and everything. So it will be serialized by Weekly Shonen Jump which means that we will be getting a weekly release. So that is good because I can be reviewing this and I'm interested because the thing about Shonen Jump is since it's weekly a lot of the mangaka don't get enough time and space to actually prepare some of the materials that they release within their manga and because of that a lot of plot holes start emerging and they don't get enough time to even think of the story properly before writing on a weekly basis so Kishimoto has had a few months or I could say a few years to actually prepare this manga and I think that is why this story is going to be good because he actually admits that he plans Samurai 8 to be at least 10 volumes. But even though he past said that Naruto, which was his previous series, was going to be about 15 volumes, that turned out to be false. So we don't know how many volumes this accurately will be. So that is good news right there that if the story turns out to be good, we will be getting possibly more volumes than 10. And this story could be the next um, success after Naruto. And hopefully it is. So... I'm going to give you a summary here of who Hachimaru is and it is all translated by Organic Dinosaurs. Um, who is Hachimaru? Hachimaru is the main character. Hachimaru is a feeble boy who can't leave his home or even survive without life support. Even though he only plays video games every day, he dreams of becoming a samurai. So having a mechanized body and powers allows him to exceed human capability. So he is basically a cyborg, right? He's made of a bit of technology and a bit of, you know, human flesh. So he's basically a human that has been mechanized. I want to know why that happened, why he has been Recognize. Like, do they live in this futuristic world now where people decide to take off their limbs in order to replace it with technology in order to further better themselves and, you know, make sure they can achieve more or are capable of more than a normal human being i wish i knew what that was but the other thing that you need to know about hachimaru is that kishimoto created hachimaru with a feeble body and predisposition for allergies because he wanted children to be able to sympathize with the condition a perfect protagonist is not relatable kishimoto enjoyed depicting a main character preserving with an inferiority complex so since being inferior and since we as humans have a class system out there at one point someone everyone felt inferior so i think he's trying to capitalize with that sense of feeling that possibly everyone has had in their lives to make this character more real and i think this works better than a perfect character because perfection doesn't exist and if you have a character who's perfect then there is nothing relatable about the character you won't sympathize with the character or at least you won't feel attached to the character as to someone who is you know connected to you like let me use dc and marvel as an example i read in one of the interviews of marvel that the reason why their films were working better than DC is because these characters are human beings who have their own problems before their superpowers right and that is what makes them relatable and that is why people like compared to DC where all the characters have their powers first before who they are so people literally just go to watch the movies because of their powers and not for who they are and that's why a lot of the DC movies were failing at least that's what was said within this interview so yes your character should be able to relate to you to some extent and I think that's exactly what Kishimoto is trying to do here so I'm going to give you the story summary of Samurai 8 before you read the manga chapter so the galaxy is headed towards the end of its existence and it can't withstand any longer for another century a samurai was given the mission to try and save all the scattered planets and their respective inhabitants by finding Pandora's box. So the second summary says the god of warriors Fudo Myo sealed a secret that will save the entire world inside of Pandora's box. In order to open it someone will need to find the seven keys first which basically resembles the journey of the west story which inspired Dragon Ball. Find the seven Dragon Balls and here we have find the seven keys first. The thing you need to know about Kishimoto is that he he really loves Japanese folklore right 
as well as you know mythology in general and he incorporates that in naruto with the susano and ojimaru fight as well as a lot of the sharingan names and stuff so kishimoto is heavily inspired by japanese mythology as well as you know mythology in general and that is what samurai 8 is about so hashimaru a feeble boy who requires medical assistance since birth might just be one of them so we don't know what the seven keys are hashimaru seems to be one of those based on the description that we are reading here and if that is the case right i only have one question right so if this god of warriors has the solution to fix the entire universe why would that person not fix the universe why would they seal it inside of a box like is this a game for them are they like the god character of the story who is just you know playing a game and watching how people will struggle in order to find the fix to this world who knows but um that is basically all you need to know about samurai 8 before it is released and i want you guys to tell me what you think in the comment section so if you are new to my channel subscribe and hit that notification button because i will be reviewing samurai 8 on a weekly basis with that being said that is all i have and i have nothing more to say hope to see you in the next video and bye